Hello everyone, welcome to my channel which is all about crocheting and knitting. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these baby shoes for 0 to 3 months old baby. It's pretty easy pattern and I'll show you step by step how to make them so even beginners of crochet can do it. So let's get started! And for this project you will need this amazing yarn, it's called Cozy, it's from Durable a brand, it's 50 grams, 66 meters, 50% of cotton and 50% of polyacryl. It's so uh, nice material, uh, it's good quality and it's thicker, so it will be easier work <laughs> with it. For one pair or for two pairs of shoes, you need one uh, ball of each color and you will need measuring tape, sewing thread, stitch markers, pair of scissors, yarn needle and I will crochet with 3.5 millimeters crochet hook. Okay, I'm going to use 3.5 mm crochet hook and the pink color of yarn, make a slip knot and then chain 11. If you tighten more or less than me, you can use um, 0 0.5 uh, smaller or bigger crochet hook. Now we have to make two double crochets in the fourth chain. So don't count the loop or the chain, the loop on your hook. So this is fourth chain. Yarn over, insert your hook into the fourth chain, grab the yarn, pull it through. You have three loops on your hook. Now grab the yarn, pull it through too and grab the yarn and pull it through two loops. This is double crochet and make one more double crochet in the same chain. Now make just one double crochet in next six chains. In the very last chain, I'm going to make five double crochets. And then make one double crochet in next six stitches and I'm going to hide the starting tail behind my work because it's less work at the end. And you have to make one double crochet in front of double crochet on the other side. So make one double crochet in next six stitches. And then make two double crochets in the last stitch. So you have to make two double crochets in the same space. This is one double crochet and I have to make 
one more double crochet in the same space. Now join the round with a slip stitch and make the slip stitch in the third chain. So insert your hook into this chain and make a slip stitch. Okay, now chain one because we are going to make single crochets and to make two single crochets in in two stitches in the very first two stitches so this is first increase and here make second increase so make two single crochets in the same space then make one single crochet in the next three stitches and it depends up to you if you will use this gap between uh, double crochets from previous round or if you will use just stitches so you can use this gap or stitches as me and make one single crochet in next three stitches okay now make one half double crochet in next stitch So now make one half double crochet and then one double crochet in next two stitches. So one double crochet and one double crochet in next stitch. Now we have to increase again. So increase next five stitches. It means you have to make two double crochets in next five stitches now we are increasing the front part of the sole Okay, now one double crochet in next two stitches. Now one half double crochet. Now one single crochet in next three stitches. then increase uh, next two stitches so make two single crochets in next two stitches and in very last stitch make one single crochet and join the round with the slip stitch in the first stitch not in chain but in the first stitch Okay, this is last round of the sole of shoe and chain one and now we have to increase next uh, four stitches. So make two single crochets in, uh, in very four, in very first four stitches. So you have to increase four times. And in this round we are going to make just single crochets so it will be easier. Okay, now one single crochet in next six stitches, then increase ten times, and then one single crochet in next six stitches, and then increase four times. 
Now make one single crochet in very last stitch and join the round with a slip stitch but I'm going to uh, join the round with invisible way and invisible slip stitch so uh, cut the yarn pull it through and then take your yarn needle and you have to insert your needle into the first stitch and then into the middle of last stitch and then just sew the tail inside the sole and that's all okay you can see it's invisible it's better than normal way how to make a slip stitch and length of the sole is nine centimeters width width uh, of of the back part of the sole is 4.5 centimeters and the front part is 5.5 centimeters so you have to make two exactly the same soles of shoe okay now I'm going to uh, I'm going to use uh, other color of yarn. Uh, I'm going to use this beautiful salmon color and use exactly the same size of crochet hook. So I'm going to use 3.5 millimeters crochet hook, start in the back part of sole and we will not use stitches in this round but we are going to use just this back loop so you will insert your hook just in the back loop and the first stitch or the first chain uh, I'm using these both loops so pull it through and chain one and then I'm going to use just the back loop and make one single crochet in each back loop all the way around and I'm going to uh, I'm going to hide the starting tail behind my work like always it's less work for me I think it's better so it's up to you if you will follow me or not okay I'm going to make last single crochet in this round and then join the round with a slip stitch if you will have any questions write me here below the video and in next round we have to count 18 stitches in the front part of shoe so count and mark 9 stitches on the left side and 9 stitches on the right side On the beginning of this round uh, you have to decrease so it's up to you if you will decrease um, like this and you will use stitches or if you will follow me because I'm going to use just the front loop and mm, make two single crochets together so decrease on the beginning and then make one single crochet in next 14 stitches okay now we are going to decrease the front part of shoe and make two half double crochets together so yarn over and I'm going to use just the front loop so insert your hook into the front loop not yarn over you have to insert your hook into the next front loop grab the yarn pull it through both uh, front loops you have three loops on your hook grab the yarn and pull it through all three loops 
this is invisible decrease then make one half double crochet in next two stitches now decrease again and continue working like this to the stitch marker so you have to decrease then one half double crochet in next two stitches and decrease again okay now make one single crochet in next 14 stitches and then you have to decrease uh, at the end of this round okay now we are going to make one single crochet to the stitch marker and count 18 stitches in the front part of the shoe again so mark 18 stitches okay now we have to decrease again so make two half double crochets together and then one half double crochet in next stitch then decrease again so make two half double crochets in the next stitch and then one half double crochet in next stitch again and continue working like this to the stitch marker And now make again one single crochet in each stitch to the end of this round. Okay, now you have to count. 12 stitches in the front part of the shoe and in this round we are going to decrease also the the back part of the shoe so make two single crochets together on the beginning of this round and you could decrease like this um, also in the previous round if you want to have uh, the back, pa back part of the shoe uh, tighten now make one single crochet in each stitch to the stitch marker okay we are going to decrease and now decrease uh, like this so you have to um, make two half double crochets together and then we will decrease four times but we will uh, make two double crochets together so yarn over insert your hook into the front loop grab the yarn pull it through you have three loops on your hook grab the yarn pull it through two yarn over insert your hook into the next front loop grab the yarn pull it through you have four loops on your hook grab the yarn pull it through two and grab the yarn pull it through three loops this is two double crochets together and make it three more times okay and now I have two stitches left so make two half double crochets together then make one single crochet in next 14 stitches 
and at the end of this round don't forget to decrease so at the end you have to make two single crochets together so now make one single crochet in each stitch nearly to the end of this round and uh, two last stitches you have to decrease okay at the end of the round make a slip stitch and start the next round with chain one and then one single crochet in each stitch all the way around and that's all it will be last round of the shoe of this pattern and at the end of the round you have to make a slip stitch but i'm going to make a slip stitch with invisible way so cut the yarn pull it uh, pull the yarn through and use yarn needle and you have to insert your needle to the stitch over here and then to the middle of stitch of last stitch and then you can saw the tail and that's all okay now we have to make the bow I'm going to use the same size of crochet hook and the pink color of yarn make a slip knot and then chain 13 if you want to have a bigger bow or smaller bow you have to just uh, make less or more chains so I have 13 chains and now start in the second chain and make one single crochet and you have to make one single crochet in each chain across now chain one and turn your work and now I'm going to use just a back loop so this is the back loop what I am going to use just this back loop and we are going to uh, we are going to make single crochets and always you have to make the first single crochet in very first uh, back loop so this is the very first back loop where you have to make first single crochet and make one single crochet in each back loop across okay I am at the end of the row you can use um, back loop or both loops so if you want to follow me I always make the last single crochet into the both loops into the stitches then chain one turn your work and continue working like this make five rows okay I have five rows of single crochets in back loop then chain one and now we are going to make slip stitches around and always make two slip stitches in each corner okay use invisible slip stitch at the end cut the yarn and all uh, tails you have to hide into the into this rectangle then sew it in the middle or you can use just small piece of yarn and make a slip knot okay now I'm going to make a small string around uh, the middle of my bow so make a slip knot and then chain 10 
I'm using 3.5 millimeters crochet hook and again pink color of yarn then start in the second chain and make first slip stitch and you will make one slip stitch in each chain across and that's all okay now I'm going to show you just how I do it so I'm going to use just small piece of the same color of yarn uh, and just tighten it make a slip knot then put the string around the bow around the middle of bow and sew it together Then you have to sew the bow to the shoe. Okay, this is how it looks like. Now you have to sew it to the, to the uh, shoe. So use sewing thread and needle. Or if you want, you can use glue for textiles. It's up to you. And make also exactly the same way the second shoe.